Firebrand X Premier wins in Slovakia in blow to EU unity. Bloomberg Bloomberg. A former prime minister who's derided the European Union's sanctions against Russia and pledged t. O. and military aid to Ukraine won Slovakia's election, delivering a fresh blow to Western unity. Most read from Bloomberg Senate voting on bill to avert U.S. government shutdown Congress averts U.S. Gov. RN meant shutdown hours before deadline once unthinkable bond yields now the new normal for markets euro. Pays richest royal family builds $300 billion finance empire weight loss drugs estimated to. Below are your comments. The reason a lot of countries are changing their tune about sanctions is not because they want to go easy on Russia. It is because their country is also suffering. Due to oil prices, Russia's GDP is predicted to increase. Meanwhile Germany and many other EU countries have contracting economies. Just as Hungary has been denied EU equalization payments, the same thing can happen to Slovakia. And then the Slovaks will really feel good. When FICO wins, Westerners will claim that it was a Russian covert operation and or that Slovaks bay. Ing backwards Slavs do not hold civilized Western values. If the pro-Western candidate had won, Westerners would be applauding the wishes of the Slovaks people. E. Western analogy is that people are O. Problem is that sanctions do not necessarily have the desired result. In a way, it is proving to be a double-edged sword which is cutting both ways. The aspiring victor and the potential vanquished. Sharpness of the sword and the weight of the user combined, make a fatal bleep tail leading to mad. Mew. No surprise, people want this war to stop in Ukraine. No one listened to Russia's security concerns since 2008 all they want is no NATO, no missiles and Ukraine to remain neutral. Is that too much to ask for? Instead people see how a few have made a ton of money from this conflict and how the core. Next news. Biden. We can't allow American support for Ukraine to be interrupted. Kiev independent. U.S. President Joe Biden signed a law averting a government shutdown that was set for midnight, according to the White House. Biden said that although the bill does not include financial assistance for Ukraine, he expects Spia. Ker Kevin McCarthy will keep his commitment to the people of Ukraine and secure passage of the SUPO. RT needed to help Ukraine at this critical moment. Below are your comments. Let Ukraine fend for itself as most taxpayers will be left fending for themselves due to the govern. And once again spending more than their budget allows. Stop feeding and housing illegals and stop sending money all over the world and maybe one day our key. DS won't have to deal with the debt that th. They paid Hunter well in my 10%, we can make a Vietnam with drones while I push EVs and sell China oil. Dot. The U.S. Loves prolonged wars and bleep. The politicians get their 10%. 
After seeing what Russia done in Ukraine, the entire civilized world stands with Ukraine. Next news. Senators issue joint statement confirming Ukraine support. Kyiv Independent. Following a passage of a bill to avoid a government shutdown, top U.S. Senate leaders issued a rare bipartisan statement affirming their commitment to Ukraine. They expect the Senate will work to ensure the U.S. Government continues to provide critical and sustained security and economic support for Ukraine. Below are your comments. Too bad Congress can't profit from supporting our veterans. Interestingly enough, those two groups overlap. This shows both parties care more about foreign countries than they do about the U.S. Citizens and our country. We need a new party that will keep our nose and our dollars out of conflicts that are none of our BU. Sines. It is getting old when all these other countries are our welfare recipients. Finally some good news, at least for another month. Next news. Ukraine aid falls by wayside as Congress passes spending bill. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. Lawmakers omitted further aid to Ukraine in a measure passed Saturday to avoid a federal government. NT shutdown, signaling that U.S. support for funding its fight against the Russian invasion is getting harder. Most read from Bloomberg Senate voting on bill to avert U.S. government shutdown Congress averts. U.S. government shutdown hours before deadline once unthinkable bond yields now the new normal for Mar. Kets Europe's richest royal family builds $300 billion finance empire weight loss drugs s. Below are your comments. You are all poorer and your savings didn't really go up it just got inflated and you will be taxed oh. And that. So if you sell anything you can't afford to buy back what you sold which is another way of saying yo. Er poorer. Necessities prices are all going up more whether you get a pay increase or not. The majority, according to the most recent polls, of the voting American public do not support more aid to Ukraine and want more effort to be given to domestic matters. It wasn't even close. Good. This mean peace in Ukraine is more likely to happen now. Cut the funding, the war will end. Kiev will stop throwing its men away and they'll cut a deal with the Russians and Ukraine will be B. T T E R off for it. Our border is a huge problem. It is in no way closed. We do not need one more illegal crossing to live free at taxpayer expense. This must be resolved first before another dime goes to Ukraine. This is the top priority of taxpayers and voters. Next news. Democrat senator temporarily held up Senate vote hours before shutdown over Ukraine funding. Fox News. S. Colorado Democratic Sen. Michael Bennett reportedly temporarily held up the vote on the short-term funding bill to avoid a gov. earnment shutdown over its lack of Ukraine funding. Below are your comments. There should be a law in place to help prevent this situation in the future. 
to prevent a shutdown, funding of government services etc. will continue but with an automatic 25% reduction with the exception of Department of Defense and F.E. M.A. This 25% includes congressional salaries and their staff. Funny how Fox focuses on a Democrat who voted to fund the government, but not the nine Republicans that voted to shut down the government. It's almost if they were, you know, biased or something. Was this before or after Fire Marshal Jamal Bowman pulled the fire alarm? I'm not sure why people don't want to support Ukraine. Can someone explain that please? Next news. China creates obstacles to drone exports to Ukraine. Ukrainska Pravda. New rules restricting the export of drone components came into force in China on 1 September, and SU. PPLIERS reduced sales of drones to Ukraine, giving China a covert influence on the war. Source. The New York Times details. The New York Times noted that the fighting in Ukraine is a drone war. Below are your comments. China will reduce sales and other countries will pick up production. At the end of the day China makes itself less and less relevant which is perfectly okay. Manufacturing should be sent to Taiwan. No problem. Safer to buy drones from Taiwan. Taiwan. China might even sabotage Ukraine-bound drones or drones parts. Who didn't see that coming? All this really does is increase prices because those parts will now have to go through third parties. Turkey most likely had something to do with it because Ukraine is purchasing fewer drones from them. Next news. 20 Russian vehicles and 3 ammunition depots destroyed on Tavria front over 24 hours. Ukrainska Pra. VDA. During the past 24 hours, Ukraine's armed forces destroyed 20 pieces of Russian military equipment. As well as 3 ammunition depots. Source. Alexander Tarnovsky, commander of the Tavria Operational and Strategic Group of Forces, on Telegra. M. Details. Among the destroyed equipment were, in particular, one tank, three armored vehicles, eight artiller. Y systems and mortars, one ATGM system, four UAVs, and three units of automobile equipment. Below are your comments. Once Russian supply lines are cut in two and shut off, what supplies remain will be eliminated quick. Leah's is in this case. This is reported by Reuters. To date, there are about 200 Cuban communists in the special operations zone. Missed one. Ukraine bleeped 500 Russians also. Exclamation mark exclamation mark dot. All the Russian vehicles and ammunition depots were destroyed last year. According to Ukrainska Pravda. Next news. 295 decoys are being painted on Russian airbases apron. The war zone.
Moscow's efforts to disrupt Ukraine's ability to target and strike its bomber force while on the grow. Und now includes painted silhouettes. Below are your comments. It's weird to think that paint is the most effective tool the Russian military has in their arsenal. Especially when the results are still this bad. Well they don't use much fuel but harder to fly. Ha! At least they could have added a shadow to the decoy so that they look at least 3D. The Russians never have been very good at war. They depend on the climate, their vast wasteland, attrition and outside help to win. Not a good strategy these days. The only other tool they have in the toolbox is nukes, which only assures their demise. Well, if you can tell the difference in a satellite photo, I'm guessing a drone operator can too. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.